Hello, everybody. I would like to share a few thoughts with you about Kundalini Yoga. And uh, this is what I found. And I think we are in a time right now where our human potential is really triggered and activated. And we have to leave our comfort zone and step beyond our known routines and what we are, the life we used to, to live. And um, actually, Kundalini Yoga was designed to prepare us for the pressures of the time we're finding ourselves right in, in right now. And uh, it's just amazing. I found a few things that I would like to share with you. And according to current scientific theory, we, uh, we waste 97% of our DNA. This is called the junk DNA. And we know in the meantime that is total scientific nonsense. Like um, there's so much going on right now um, that shows us clearly that the old way of doing science, uh, science is almost like a religious cult that's playing out everywhere. And we just have to believe whatever they tell us to do. And uh, actually Kundalini Yoga to practice, to activate your own human potential. Each individual has to do this. This is the new way of uh, getting into your personal power. So, um, so actually, in Kundalini Yoga and other teachings, these 97% of this unused DNA is actually our human potential. Potential we have yet to turn on and to develop. And the same is also going on with our brains. We only use 3% of our cerebral intelligence. Imagine, this is 97% is still dormant sleeping. We have not completely waken up yet to our full potential. And this is really amazing. Imagine, imagine how your own life can change, how the society, how the civilization, how the whole planet can change. If each of us takes the responsibility for their own potential. This is pretty amazing. There's a lot of dormant potential ready to be awakened. We want to utilize more of our inherent capacity as a human being in emerging intelligence, creativity, and possibility. And what we see right now, what they want to do they want to enforce on us like communist style, fascist style, I have to say it like it is, fascist style methods to enslave humanity. And they know, these forces, they know exactly that the time has come when the light is coming to the planet and this is all activated right now, this potential and nothing can stop this. And this is just another try to keep us away and to leave us in a dump and, and uh, yeah, in a dormant sleeping like sheep like state. And that's why Kundalini yoga and other, other um, like martial arts or meditation that bring you back into your core in yourself is very important. And uh, ask yourself for a moment, what do you want to utilize? What do you want to bring forth in your life? What do you want to amplify? Can you envision yourself if you live your fullest potential and your creativity and all your intelligence and all your possibilities, health, happiness, love and success? Can you imagine that? Just close your eyes for a moment, envision how would your life be? What would you do? How would you live? And what would you share with the world? How would you fill your cup? Can you feel that potential? And can you hold that vision during the day? This is very important that we become aware of how much we gave away from our own energy and our time and our lives actually our lives and our potential as human beings. Kundalini Yoga gives you the tools, the science and the techniques to set yourself up 
to fulfill your highest purpose and potential. Kundalini yoga is the fastest and most efficient way to get you there and to live an invincible life. This means that you get strong from the inside. You connect to that divine core spark that's sitting inside of you, in your heart, in your nervous system, in the field within you and around you. And you tap into that field. And from there, you get the information you need, you get the support you need. And this is just very, very powerful. You gotta be a little bit disciplined and you got to develop a nourishing and wonderful routine. We all use so much to say, oh, I can't do this, I'm too lazy, or I don't want this. And we have become really weak as a society. We just follow our impulses, what we want to eat, and we exchange it. We mix that up with uh, being loving towards ourselves. Meanwhile, it's not nourishing at all. It's just stuffing that hole that we have. And this is about what's coming up and what needs to be cleared out and how do we want to nourish ourselves. And if we nourish ourselves in a good way and if we feel this life force coming up inside of us, then we can contribute to this new world, to this new society that's emerging. Kundalini yoga also helps, helps you to master the bumps and the hurdles. Especially in this time, we have a lot of hurdles and bumps. And actually, there's a big fight going on between the good and the evil. We are supposed to believe that the good is bad and the bad is good. And we have to rethink everything we have been taught for such a long time. And uh, yeah, Kundalini yoga gives you clarity and a state of neutrality, which means that all negative and positive and all opposing forces within you, they come into balance and into total harmony. It's not about taking one side, left, right, um, up, down or whatever. It's coming to that neutral space where the female and the male aspects, they come together, they meet in your heart and from here, this is that neutral space. And this is also what Kundalini Yoga teaches you to come to that wonderful, neutral and peaceful, quiet state. And then you set up yourself up for the right action. That doesn't mean that you sit on your yoga mat all day long in your fancy clothes. This means that we take inspired action. Kundalini Yoga teaches, gives you the strength, courage, and the vigor on the physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual level to deal with the challenges and the pressures of our times in a very efficient way. If you can master your own energy, you are not, you cannot be manipulated and you cannot be forced to do anything from the outside. You're so strong and your intuition is so intense and so you're so much in contact with your intuition that you know where to go, what to do, what to eat, where to withdraw. And um, it's just amazing. I had this journey going on now for a few years and it's, yeah, I come more and more into this, what it really means. In the midst of the trenches of our everyday roles and responsibility in your world, you will find inner peace and joy with all that is ahead of you, with all that is ahead of you. And Kundalini Yoga will help you quickly transform every aspect of your daily life. This way we can cope with the pressures of the world and we learn how to succeed and to grow stronger for it. Every challenge is therefore an opportunity for growth and expansion. Yoga and meditation practice is no longer just a luxury for people with too much time at hand. Under the current circumstances, it is necessary and a precious tool to guide us through this big time of change of apocalyptic proportion. And I think we all feel this pressure right now. 
and Kundalini Yoga works with mantra, sound, rhythm, repetition, breathing, and movement. It works on the nervous system, on the glandular system, the brain function at the physical level. On a spiritual and emotional level, it can help us to clear our subconscious mind from old programs and belief patterns that hold us back and are hindering us to live our full potential. It frees us into our true nature and to experience the divine inside of us. It is the path from the darkness of the unconsciousness into the light of the consciousness. It is the ultimate hero's journey. It awakens the Kundalini, the life force energy that lays coiled as a snake, lying dormant, sleeping at the base of your spine, ready to rise, activate, and awaken us all completely. This was just a little bit to give you a kind of curiosity what Kundalini Yoga can do for us in this time. And uh, I'm going to develop a few videos and a few programs in the next weeks. And I hope you can participate. I'm going to teach today at the Russell Museum in Waynesboro. And this is going to be a social event. And we're going to be together. And we're going to have a class together. And totally denying all kinds of pressures and regulations that are put upon us in this time right now. We're going to share some space and we're going to share the Kundalini Yoga and we're going to create a very powerful, powerful space of the heart and nothing can stop this. May the force be with you and may you be curious about Kundalini Yoga. You can find a lot of material at the web and uh, on YouTube, amazing teachers everywhere. Use the internet as a source of wisdom, knowledge is power. May the force be with you. Bye-bye. <laughs>